All right, welcome, folks, to some Monday Night Basketball. Uh, I'd like to thank Brandon Schwack for stepping in for me on multiple occasions. Uh, I was involved in some parent-teacher conferences last week, Monday, so I appreciate him stepping up and covering the boys' game. So i uh, like to welcome you uh, to those tuning in to the live stream. Uh, again, my name is Nick Stewart, and we have Zoe on the camera tonight, so I'd like to thank her uh, with her work on the camera. And so tonight we have uh, kind of a rare late scheduled non-conference matchup between the your Amory Warriors and the Spooner Rails. And so uh, typically don't see non-conference games this late in the season, but uh, tonight we do have the non-conference game here between the Warriors and the Rails. The Spooner Rails come in with an overall record of five wins and 16 losses. Uh, they are four and 13 in the Heart of the North Conference. And your Amory Warriors come in with an overall record of nine wins, 13 losses, and they are two and 11 overall in the Middle Border Conference. And so we will get into, <clears throat> excuse me, talking about playoffs. Uh, the seeding meeting was, I believe, yesterday, either yesterday or Saturday. Uh, either way, the seeding meeting is done for the boys, and we'll talk about the upcoming matchups for both um, the Warriors and the uh, Spinner Rails. So with that, we will turn it over to our PA announcer for the starters and the national anthem. So the Spooner Rails coming in um, out of the Heart of the North Conference. Uh, coach Josh Faisal is their head coach. Uh, and kind of a balanced uh, scoring from the Spooner Rails. Grayson Daniels, 9.3 points per game. Evan Ponisek, 8.9 points per game. And Maverick Swanson, 8.4 points per game. So starting with the Spooner Rails... Evan Potasek, a junior number three. Followed by junior number 21, Jake Hartwig. Senior number 22, Caden Weiberg. Junior number 23, Maverick Swanson. Followed by senior number 32, Grayson Daniels. And now the stars for your Amy Warriors. They're led out uh, by junior number twenty, number two, Carter Wallen. Followed by senior number three, Seth Wallen. Followed by junior number twelve, Blake Anderson. Followed by junior number thirteen, Joey Thorsheim. Followed by a freshman number 22, Keaton Wallen. 
And so the Warriors have a much more pronounced kind of a two-headed attack, scoring attack. Uh, they're led by Carter Wallen coming in, averaging 23.5 points per game, followed by younger brother Keaton Wallen at 16.6 points per game. Both teams are coming off the heels of a loss. The Spooner Rails lost to conference leading Cameron, 74 to 45, and Amory's coming off of a loss to Altoona, 85 to 60. So with that, tip goes by way of the Rails. Hartwig up top for the Rails. He'll looking for some help here. He'll find Daniels to Weiberg. To Hartwig, to Daniels up top. Try to get to Potacek. Ball turned over to the Warriors. Keaton quickly up to um, the front court. Seth Wall underneath kicks out to Joey Thorsheim. Carter Wall up top. Looking to uh, reset the offense. He'll drive a kick out to brother Keaton. Keaton for three. No good. Seth tried to get the rebound, and they're going to get off of the rails. So ball to stay with the Warriors. Coach Mackey giving them a play here to run to Keaton in the wing. Oh, great little back screen there. Give two points to Seth Wallen. That was a great play run to perfection. Gives Amy the 2-0 lead here in the first half. Ooh, just like that, ball turned back over to the Warriors. So Amory will be hosting a playoff game a week from tomorrow. They'll be hosting the Baron Bears. That'll be their first home playoff game since 2015, believe it or not. Carter with a quick drive. Shot no good, but he does draw the foul. Weiberg's first, team's first. First one's good. Second one's on the way. That's good as well. So Amory out to a quick 4-0 lead here. Just over 16 and a half minutes to go in the first half. All the Daniels up top. And that is Pacek with the ball. Over to Swanson, to Daniels for three. Shot no good. Potacek, he'll have a little floater. Shot no good. And ball is off of the rails back to the Warriors. So Spooner able to get a couple looks here, just unable to capitalize. So Amory gets the ball back with the 4-0 lead here in the first half. Anderson in the wing. He go over to Keaton. To Blanders in the corner, not about three. Nice uh, defense by the rails. On the Carter. Carter, ooh. Ooh. Maybe those. Yeah, I, I was waiting for the call. I don't think there was no obvious tip there, and so they are going to call over and back against the uh, Warriors. So, yeah, I was kind of waiting for a call by the referee, but um, kind of a delayed whistle. Nonetheless, Amory turns the ball over to the rails. Ball into Potizek. Over to Swanson. Ooh, Carter tied up. Number 22, Weiberg. Uh, Spooner able to get back on defense and cause a turnover, so ball back to the rails. So some quick action back and forth here. Potizek into Hartwig. Daniels and the ball goes off of Swanson so ball back to the Warriors so uh, both teams a little sloppy here to start the first half a couple of turnovers to each side Blake Anderson to Juan Juan for three in the wing no good ball back to the rails oh Joey almost with the steal there keeping the uh, defense Honest down there. Hartwig into Pazek. Amory in a little bit of a press 
press defense. Spooner breaks it beautifully. Ooh, I think Daniels tried to find uh, Weiberg, but uh, not quite in the same page. So ball back to the Warriors. Thorsham to bring it across to the Warriors. Over to Anderson. Anderson into Carter. Carter with a drive. Ooh, got bumped. No, no call. Keaton Wallen will retain the possession there. Nice job of retaining the dribble. Anderson in the corner into Wall, uh, Seth Wallen. Seth out to Blake Anderson. Anderson out to Thorsham up top. Back to Anderson. Into Seth Wallen. Seth. Oh. <laughs> Seth tried to find somebody. No one really came to the rescue. Um, so the ball turned back over to the rails. Podjek thought about three. Over to Daniels. Danielson will kick it over to, can't see the number down there, uh, Swanson to Hartwig. Oh, in and out. Shot no good. Back Ball back to the Warriors. Keaton, a little, a little hesitation. Lost the ball. And uh, I think... Uh, as uh, Ponizek just kind of lost his balance and tripped tripped into Anderson, so he'll be called for his first team second. Danielson in for Seth Wallen, and we have number one, that is Jackson Faisal, freshman, in for number 21, Jake Hartwig. 4 0, Warriors lead, 14 minutes to go in the first half. Carter up top for the Warriors. He'll drive and kick out to Anderson. Anderson blocked. Yeah, you got to pull the trigger a little faster down there. Good defense on the rails. Uh, Faisal for three. Now he wastes absolutely no time getting to the scorebook, so good for him. Uh, Spooner is on the scoreboard. Four to three. The lead is just one for the Warriors. Carter with a little hesitation. Out to Anderson into Keaton Wan. Keaton with a little spin move. Shot no good. Ooh, tip almost went for Danielson. Ball back to the rails. Potizek over to Faisal. Daniels. Shot no good. Rebound, shot, and good. That was number 22, Weiberg. Basket and the foul. So they're going to take number 13. That'd be Thorsheim, his first, team's first. Joey gets a rest, uh, gets a rest, and then uh, Sam Strike gets some playing time. Weiberg to make a three point play. He does. So all of a sudden, Spooner takes a 6 to 4 lead. So after Amory jumped out to a quick 4 0 lead, Amory's gone cold. And so credit Spooner. Uh, for a couple of nice offensive possessions. Shot no good by Anderson. And Caleb was trying to play monkey or python down there. He just kind of lost his balance, and so he'll get called for the foul. His first, team's second. Ball into Potizek, back to Faisal. Back to Potizek. Back to Faisal. They quickly break that, and they find Weiber, give him two more. Eight to four, the lead is four. Carter with a nice drive, give him two. So Amory, uh, sometimes in their press defense, sometimes not. Faisal, oh, Amory able to turn over the rails there. Shot rejected by Weiberg. Ball to stay with the Warriors. So Amory biting into that four-point lead. Eight to six now. The lead is two for the Rails. Uh, we have a couple more Rails checking in. Uh, number 11, Nathan Hazel checking in. And number five, Zachary Glessing in as well. Carter, deep three. Shot no good. Ball back to the Rails. Potizek to bring it across. Oh, no one, uh, no one decided to guard him. A uh, shot no good. Amory able to get away with a defensive lapse there. Um, Carter with a quick drive. 
He'll try to kick out to Anderson. Nice defense, though, by the Rails. 8-6. to six. Rails lead by two. Just over 12 minutes to go in the first half. Anderson into Carter. Carter with a nice shot fake. Shot is good. With that, Amory ties it back up 8-8. Eight, eight. Amory back in their little press defense. They find Faisal to Glessing. Glessing for three. Shot no good. Nice box out. Ball back to the Warriors. Keaton Wan. Nice little Euro step floater. Give him two. Amory takes the lead back 10-8. Faisal to Hazel, to Glessing, to Potizek, to Faisal. Faisal for three. No good. Carter with the rebound. Carter with the drive and a kick to Danielson. Great pass. Great finish. Glessing quickly up for the rails. Back to Faisal, to Potizek. He'll find Hazel. To Daniels in the corner, guarded by Danielson. Potizek to Faisal in the wing. Potizek, thought about three. Back to Faisal. Ooh, he's thinking about it. It's kind of deep. He'll kick out to Potizek. Over to Hazel. Into Daniels. He'll find Potizek. Nothing there. He'll drive. Ooh, great drive. Just could finish. Carter will drive and he will get fouled. So 12 to eight Warriors lead by four. So it's been a kind of a, a first half of runs for both sides. So they're gonna get number five. That is Glessing, his first team's third. Carter, first one is good. So we have a host of players checking in. Seth Wallen, Sam Bosley for the first time. We have uh, Maverick Swanson back in. And number 21, that is Jack, Jake Hartwig back in. So for the rails, so Seth, or Seth, um, Carter. Converts on the free throws. Lessing up top. He'll find Swanson, the winger, by Keaton Wong. Ball over to Faisal. Faisal will drive to the top. Nothing there. Glessing. Ooh. <laughs> Ball. It passed into 22. That was Weiberg. Uh, so we're going to take Bosley in the foul there. So it'll be his first, team's third. Shot by Faisal for three, no good. Carter with a rebound. Ooh, Carter did not, no one said anything. Um, got stolen from behind, so it's, team needs to warn their players if someone's coming from behind. Uh, so you avoid that situation. Nonetheless, nice defense on the part of the rails. Faisal will hand off to Swanson. Swanson the drive, nothing there, nothing there. Out to Faisal. The screen there. Guarded closely by Keaton Wong over to uh, Hartwig. And this is, ooh, great move by uh, Swanson. Shot no good. Seth Wong with a rebound out to Carter. Carter quickly up to Keaton. Find strike. Strike, shot no good, but they're going to get Glessing. That's going to be uh, Glessing's second, team's fourth. So strike, head to the line, shooting two. Ooh, first, no good. A little bit short. Second one's on his way. <laughs> this one made sure to get there, so give him one. And 15 to eight, the lead is now seven for the Warriors. Warriors on, I believe, a 
11 to 0 run here because they were down 8 to 4, uh, I believe. So 15 8, the Warriors lead. Ball back to uh, the rails. Ooh, all over to Glessing, almost taken away by uh, Bosley. To Faisal. To Hartwig with a drive, nothing there. Ooh. They're going to get Carter in the foul. His first, team's fourth. Hartwig into Faisal. Carter with the steal. And the jam. You can tell that he wanted to do that all, <laughs> all game. So give him two, 17 to 8. Lead is nine. Amory almost within her steal there at the defensive end. So Amory hitting a nice little streak here of points. 17 to 8 to lead is 9. We have 8 17 to go uh, in the first half. Ball to Pazek. Pazek will drive. Nothing there to Hartwig. Hartwig will drive. Hand off to Swanson. Swanson to Pazek in the corner again. Oh, try to kick it over to Hartwig, but they're just not quite on the same page. And so, uh, ball back to the Warriors. I don't think either team's called a timeout this first half. And so, uh, we'll have to thank some of our sponsors here and talk about uh, upcoming playoffs, athletic events here as soon as we get the chance to. Keaton Wallen, a little backdoor pass. Ooh. Yeah, they uh, <laughs> kind of collapsed on uh, Seth there. Ball into Carter. Ooh, nice little spin move. Shot is good. So fouls on number 32. That was Daniels, his first, team's fifth. Ball back to the rails. Daniels up top. Spooner looking to kind of break this scoring schneid. Potizek up top. He'll drive, try to get to Daniels, but uh, ball to stay with the rails. So Amy playing some nice defense in this early first half. Potizek to Swanson. Swanson with a drive. Nothing there. Needs some help. Needs some help. Potizek comes to the rescue. Try to reset things. Over to Hartwig. To Daniels. Daniels with a drive. Cut off nicely. Ball's fought over. Carter comes away with it. Carter with a jam. Wow, that was impressive. Fun to see. 21 to 8. With that, Spooner calls a timeout. I'd like to take some time to thank some of our sponsors here <laughs> while we have some time. I'd like to thank the Amory Warriors Catering Program. <coughs> Excuse me. Aero Building Center, Baraboo Implement Company Inc., Burnix, Carlson SV, Chet Johnson Drug Alley's Ice Cream, Compass Realty, Nikki Frolick, Do North Custom Homes, Dental Arts Family Dentistry, JA Counter and Associates Inc., Jensen Furniture, Crumb Exteriors LLC, Lead Home Insurance Agency Inc., McNally Industries, No Insurance Group, Northwood Technical College, Northwest Communications, Olson Power and Equipment, one Fest, Osceola Medical Center, Polk County Community Services Division, Polk County Veterans Service Office, Polk Burnett Electric Co-op, the School District of Amory, Slumberland Furniture, and Trailer City. We'd like to thank you all for uh, your sponsorship of the live stream. So again, we'd like to welcome uh, those tuning in for both Amory and Spooner on this Monday evening, this non-conference matchup. So uh, like I said at the beginning of our broadcast, uh, the seeds have been set for uh, both 
both teams. Avery will be hosting uh, the Baron Bears week from Tuesday. And Spooner will be on the road at St. Croix Central next week, Tuesday. And so we kind of had this awkward time of Caesar set, but we still have two regular season games. So, um, so anyway, back to the action here. Shot no good. Carter soaring for the rebound. Ball back to the Warriors. And they're going to get a blocking foul. So Keaton drew the foul there. And they're going to get number three, Potizek, his second, team's sixth. Ball to Carter. Carter thought about three. He'll hand to younger brother Keaton. Keaton shot no good. Ball back to the rails. Ball to Potizek up top to Daniels on the wing. Hartwig for three, shot no good. Ball to Potizek, shot no good, but does draw the foul. Coach Mackey not pleased with the defensive effort there. They're going to get number three. B. Seth Wallens, his first team's fifth, and they'll send Potizek to shoot two. Uh, first one is a bit short. Uh, Sam Strike in for Joey Thorsheim. Enjoy a nice little rest. Potizek to try it again. This time he does make it. So Spooner gets off that eight. Breaks the little ice there. Score is 21 to 9 in favor of the Warriors. 555 to go in the first half. Anderson. Keaton in the corner. Tiptoeing the baseline. Yeah. Uh, not a whole lot of space there on the baseline. Nice job with the part of the rails uh, closing down the baseline. That's one thing that you never give up on defense is the baseline. You never give it up because um, you still want to get burnt to the baseline. So uh, Spooner did a nice job of not giving up the baseline. And they caused a turnover. Ball back to the rails. Swanson to Daniels for three. Daniels give him his first points of the game. Ooh, Carter thought about three. Keaton will not hesitate, and Keaton will score. Twenty-four, twelve. The lead is twelve for the Warriors. Just over five minutes to go in the first half. Podzak with a drive. Wow, nice job on the part of Podzak. Give him three in the game. Ooh, Carter with a nice drive. Kind of sandwiched between two defenders, but no call. Good defense. Potizek will hand off to Faisal, to Daniels. Daniels will drive. Nothing there. To Faisal up top. Ooh, he wants it. He will. Rainbow. That, not a bad looking shot. So, um, Ball back to the Warriors. This little spin move from brother to brother. No good. Strike. Uh, ball swatted away. Ball back to the rails. So rails, a couple of nice defensive possessions. Pizek with the drive. Shot no good. Carter with a nice rebound. Ball to Keaton. Keaton will pull up for three. Shot no good. Ball back to the rails. So some quick, quick possessions back and forth by both teams. Faisal to Daniels to Weiberg to Potizek. Ball back up to Carter. Give Carter two more. And Amy with the timeout. So a lot of a lot of uh, athletic events taking place over the next two weeks here. Um, so obviously we have the basketball game here tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, our girls basketball will be traveling to St. Croix Central uh, for the first round of playoffs. Um, <clears throat> they'll be in St. Croix Central. They split with St. Croix Central, and so it'll be a fun rubber match, if you will, on Tuesday. That's tomorrow night. Um, the winner of that game will play Friday night in Somerset. 
Our boys hockey team, on the other hand, will be hosting a playoff hockey game uh, against Hayward tomorrow night. Uh, the winner will play the sectional final Friday night in Rice Lake. And finally, our girls hockey team, the Western Wisconsin Stars Hockey Co-op, um, will play against Hudson Somerset. Winner plays in the sectional final on Saturday afternoon in Hudson. On Thursday, <clears throat> our boys basketball team is playing host to Somerset, their last regular uh, season game. Uh, so they'll play against Somerset. A lot of uh, things happening um, on that Thursday, which we'll go over here uh, shortly. But uh, with that, we are already back in action. 26 to 14. Lead is 12 for the Warriors. Ooh, Anderson jumped that nicely. <laughs> Try to do a little, uh, little, little uh, alley oop to uh, Carter. Carter did uh, take that and uh, laid it up nicely. So, Carter with another steal. Carter with a little reverse. He's just kind of putting on a show now. Faisal to Hazel. Hazel with the shot. No good. Dance with the rebound to Anderson. Paul to Keaton Wallen. Shot no good. Excuse me. He'll try again. Shot no good. Ball back to the rails. Glessing up top. Need some help to Hartwig up top, Hartwig to Hazel, to Faisal, Blessing, to Hartwig, Daniels, he'll drive on Daniel Danielson, nothing there, out to Hartwig, to Faisal, to Daniels, he'll try for three, shot no good, Keaton with the rebound. He will take it to the rail territory. He will drive. He'll float. And they're going to get Daniels on the block. I thought that he might have been set there, but apparently he was not. So Daniels, his second, team seventh. So that'll put uh, Keaton Wallen to the line shooting two. Shot is good. Bosley in for Anderson for the Warriors. Second one's on the way. This one's good as well. So Amory uh, had a little bit of a slow start to start the game, but they have since, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Kind of open things up, if you will. 32 to 14, the lead is 18. Just over a minute and a half to go in the first half. Blessing to Potizek. Potizek, oh, almost traveled there. Daniels with a drive and kick out to Blessing. Blessing to Hazel. Hazel for two. And give him two. Nice shot by Hazel. Ball back to the Warriors. Coach Mackey giving Warriors a play here. Thorsheim for three. A little short. Ball back to the rails. Hazel to bring it up. And Carter will steal it. Dunk is no good there. Oh, wow. Give Pazek the two and the foul. They're going to get uh, Joey on his second, team sixth. Strike in for Joey. Panasek looking to make it a three-point play. He does. So we have just under a minute to go, 32 to 19 is the score. Amory 
might be content for a final shot. We'll see. All over to Keaton. Ooh, Keaton was wide open for a second there. Shot no good. <clears throat> Rebound to Danielson, but a nice job of the part of the rails were being scrappy, getting the ball back. So 30 seconds to go. Potizek over to Hazel. Hazel will drive and kick. And uh, Bosley, nice defense, not making anything easy. We have 19.6 seconds to go in the first half. <clears throat> Excuse me. Potizek. Well, inbound. Ooh. Carter with a steal and another dunk. 34-19. Pizek with a drive. Wow. Give him two more. So Pizek having a nice game. Ooh, shot no good by Kimo at the buzzer. So with that, 34-21. Uh, the lead is 13 for the Warriors. Uh, we'll go over halftime stats with you, and uh, we'll be right back with you at the start of the second half.
All right, welcome back, folks, to the start of the second half. So, sorry with stats, first for the Spooner Rails. Uh, Grayson Daniels, three points, two fouls. Uh, Jackson Faisal, three points, no fouls. Zach Glessing, no points, two fouls. Jake Hartwig, no points, no fouls. Evan Podizek finished with eight points, two fouls. And Kane Weiberg finished with five points, one foul. And then Nathan Heisel, Heisel rather, finished with two points, no fouls. We'll get to Amory stats here in a moment. Ball into Keaton. Give him two. 36-21. Leaves 15 for the Warriors. So in the first half, unofficially uh, for Carter. I have him down for 22 points, one foul. And Carter just picked up his second foul. Uh, Seth Wallen, I believe, finished with two points, one foul. I... I have Carter and Seth right next to each other on the score sheet, and so I started keeping track in the wrong spot for each uh, player. And so I am assuming I was able to get back on track. And so hopefully that's the case. So I apologize. I will absolutely label this unofficial stats. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Rails turn it over to uh, the Warriors. Carter to Keaton. Keaton for three. Shot no good. Uh, so I have Caleb Downson with two points, one foul. Marcus Bosley, no points, one foul. Blake Anderson, no points, no fouls. Joey Thorsheim with no points, two fouls. And Keaton, uh, Keaton Wallen with seven points, no fouls. And Sam Strike with one point, no fouls. So Carter with a steal. He will safely lay it up there. Good choice. <laughs> Pizek says, help. Ball into number 23, that is Swanson. Swanson with a drive. Shot is no good. Uh, ball's tipped around. Back to Hartwig. Hartwig. Shot is good. Uh, give him two points. 38-23. Leads 15. Carter thought about three. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ball into Seth. To Joey Thorsheim. To Blake Anderson in the corner. Keaton. Ooh. Shot was blocked. Nice defense by the rails. Panazek to drive, and he's going to draw the foul. And that's me, Joey's third. So Amy picks up a quick two fouls to start the second half. They'll send Panazek to the line, shooting two. So Panazek comes in averaging 8.9 points per game. He has now nine points. Strike in for Thorsheim with those three fouls. Podzek to try it again. Uh, this one is a bit short. Ball back to the Warriors. So Coach Mackey giving his team some directions. His instructions, rather. Anderson for three, no good. Wallen to Wallen. <laughs> Seth to Keaton. Keaton will drive. Shot is good. Nice strong drive by Keaton. Give him two more. Podizek will drive. Wow. Podizek is having himself a wonderful game. And I apologize if I'm not pronouncing his last name. Uh, correctly. Oh, uh, it's like a kind of a attempted give and go there, but uh, each person was not on the same page, and so that's that's not going to work. I think Amory was trying to get into a press, but again, not on the same page. So, uh, 40 to 26 leads 14 for the Warriors. 15 minutes to go. Ball out to Daniels. Danielson for th Daniels for three short. Own rebound. Shot no good, though. Wallen with the rebound. Ball back to the Warriors. Keaton. The drive, the kick out to Brother Carter. Carter for three. It is good. And they're going to get a foul on number 32, Daniels, his third. 
Jackson Pfizer in for uh, Jake Hartwig. So Amory gets the three-point basket and the ball. Keaton with the fadeaway. Shot is good. This is the Keaton Carter showdown here. Pazek for three. Well, he was left open. I'm not sure where the defensive lapse was there, what happened, but uh, Amory got away with one. Carter, deep three, no good this time. Ball back to the rails. So athletic events again uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we have girls basketball um, and at St. Croix Central for their playoff game. Boys hockey hosting Hayward for a playoff game and our girls co-op is going to be hosting a playoff game. So playoffs and very much full swing uh, here in uh, late February. Shot is good by number 23. That's Swanson. Give him two. <laughs> And they're going to get Keaton for the player control foul. So Keaton just kind of put his head down and tried to kind of uh, bully his way through, but they got him on the player control foul. So that's his first, team's third. Coach Mackey wanting to get his team in the uh, presser. Carter with a steal, with basket, and the foul. I don't think Faisal expected Carter to be right there and rip the ball away. Hartwig in for Faisal. Carter set to complete the three-point play. And he does. 48-28. The lead is 20. Amory in a loose press. They turn the ball over. Carter with the uh, attempted dunk, but uh, we'll call it the layup. So thankfully just landed safely. Ball back to the rails. Swanson to Daniels. Daniels with the uh, kick out to Hardway. Hardway, Hardway for three, shot no good. Ball is tipped to Daniels. Daniels, shot is good. Give Daniels five. Uh, ball is tipped and stolen by Pazek to, whoa. Oh, I think he uh, might have traveled there, but uh, Weiberg give him two. Weiberg proves that he can throw it down as well. So kudos to him. <laughs> uh, hard pass there, strike was running out of bounds. He just kind of threw it back in and I have a sloppy possession there by the Warriors, so ball back to the rails. Ooh, nice defensive play by Keaton to save it. Oh, that was a great block. Who was that? Number 23, Maverick Swanson. That's why you never give up defensively in a breakaway. Uh, what a great block uh, by uh, Swanson. Kudos, kudos to him. That was a great defensive play. So 50 to 32, the lead is 18. 12, 27 to go. Ball into Bosley. Carter, crowd top. Carter for three. Shot is good. Podizek to Hazel. Hazel with a drive. Shot no good, but uh, does draw the foul. Nice job uh, by Hazel. What a nice uh, drive with a spin move there. Unable to capitalize on the two, but does the next best thing and draws a foul and can shoot and shoot a pair from the free throw line. So Danielson picks up his second, team's fourth. Hazel set to give it a go. First one is good. Second one is good as well. Give him four. Yeah. 
Bosley set to, to command the offense into Caleb Nielsen. Nielsen can't find anybody about to Bosley. The Thorsham in the corner. Thor oh! Yeah, it's one where uh, where uh, <laughs> they try to fire the pass up top, but the guy on top, um, guy up top, uh, sprinted toward the basket and just to get off off on the, on the not the same page. So I'm trying to say, so ball back to the rails. Potasek, nothing there. Nick Lessing, back to Potasek. The drive, nothing there. Hartwig, Hartwig for three, no good. Ball back to the Warriors. So nice look though by Hartwig, just to uh, get to go. Carter with the drive and not sure. Yeah, they're gonna get number 22. Uh, Weiberg, his second. Carter exchanging pleasantries with the official. First one is good. Anderson and Seth Wallen to check in for a strike and Danielson. Carter set to try it again. Second one is good as well. It's a shooter's touch. Carter gets a break. I didn't even see that. Keaton got a break, and so younger brother will give older brother a break. Ball into Hartwig. Back to Potasek. Potasek to run the offense for the rails. He will drive. Ooh. And he will score. So give Potasek two more. He is well above his average, having one heck of a game to the rails. 55-36. Warriors lead, 10.50 to go in the game. He with a uh, kick out to Joey. Joey for three, it is good. So that puts Joey in the scorebook for the first time tonight. Blessing to Hartwig, to Potasek. Ooh, Keaton a little overzealous. Be his second team's fifth. So Amory almost already in the bonus here. And 10:31 um, to go in the game. Hartwig into Potasek. Potasek to Hazel. Hazel into Daniels. Oh, the nice spot. Ooh. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Not that the officials need my approval or anything. But they're going to get Anderson, his first team sixth. Daniels hit to try for the free throw line. First is good. Wow, he's was, he was quick, quick in the routine. Some players have a nice long dribbling around the back routine, and others just uh, go up there and get it done, like Daniels. So good for him. Fifty-eight, thirty-eight. The lead is twenty. Keaton Wallen set to drive, and some contact there. But you know, um, just because there's contact doesn't mean it's always a foul. So nice job defensively by the rails there. So Coach Mackey calling a timeout. So on Thursday, like we said, I'll be back here with you for Amory for the boys' last regular season um, game that is against Somerset. And then on Saturday, we have the WIA Wrestling State Individual Tournament in Madison. Amory has four qualifiers, uh, Weston Ingham, at 106, he's the second-ranked freshman in Wisconsin. Lane Anderson qualified as well. He is the sixth-ranked junior in Wisconsin. Wyatt Ingham, he is the number-one-ranked senior, 190. 
and then Coy Hopkins, number one ranked at 285 in Wisconsin. And so uh, we wish those four wrestlers luck at the state meet on Saturday. And boy, 30 second timeouts, they go by so quickly. We're back in action here again. So we have Pazek in the drive and tipped nicely by Anderson, but Ball able to stay with the rails, but then tipped and stolen by uh, Keaton. Keaton, ooh. Bucket and the foul. So give Keaton two. And they're gonna get number 23. That's Swanson. Be his first, team's fourth. Shot no good. Ball back to the rails. Shot no good by Swanson. Daniels shot no good. Keaton with the rebound. Ball back to the Warriors. Oh, nice pass to uh, Seth Wallen from Keaton Wallen. So unofficially, give Seth four in the game. Thanks to my little scoring blunder in the first half. Daniels will try a jump shot. No good. Seth with a nice rebound. Ball back to the Warriors. Anderson, Seth Wallen. Seth needs some help. Finds Keaton up top. Yep, they're gonna get uh, Keaton for travel. Took a step there. We have number one, Jackson Faisal, and number 22, Kane Weiberg, back in the game for the rails. Sam Strike in for Keaton Wallen. 62 to 38 is the lead for the Warriors. 8.50 to go in the game. Daniels. Out to Faisal. Faisal for three. That was good. Bosley, Seth Wallen, Seth Wallen for two, no good. Ball back to the rails. Podzek, drive, nothing there, out to Faisal. Got about three, nice little crossover. Nothing there, looking for some help, out to Swanson. To Podzek for three, shot no good. Ball fought over, but Rebounded by the Warriors. So strike to Bosley. Bosley looking to get the ball to somebody. Anderson, and Seth. Seth. <laughs> Seth being harassed down there. Going to get somebody in the foul. It's number one. So it's Faisal. His second, I must have missed one from the first half. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thorsheim to Anderson, to, to Seth Wallen up top. Thorsheim cutting. To Anderson, the strike. Thorsheim, thought about three. To Bosley, Spooner doing a nice job of staying packed defensively. Strike. To Anderson, Amory just content to play a little hot potato with the ball. Spend some time. Coach Mackey. Nothing there. Ball to Anderson. To Seth Wallen. Seth with a jump shot, no good. All back to the rails. Daniels, nothing there. Over to Pazek, to Faisal corner. Ooh, 
try to get in to uh, or 22 Weiberg, but uh, ball tipped out. Ball to stay with the Rails. Now we have a rare sighting. All of the Wallens are out. The brothers are out and Seth Wallens out. So we have a Wallenless five out there for the first time in a while. Daniels to Faisal. Faisal deep three. Shot no good. Ball fought over and goes to the Warriors. So Daniels, nice effort. Just unable to, <clears throat> excuse me, retain the possession for the rails. Bosley, Danielson to Thorsheim. Ooh. Joey knocks down the three and the foul. Joey set to complete the rare four-point play, and he does not. He does not. But Amory gets the ball back. And he'll try another three. And he'll just take another three. So we have a full timeout by uh, the Warriors. So Amory capitalizes on that possession. 68-41 uh, is the lead. So as I said, going to, um, or heading out from the previous timeout, was that we have four wrestlers heading to the state tournament. Weston Ingham at 106. He's the second ranked freshman. Lane Anderson at 120. <clears throat> number seven, junior, ranked number six. Uh, Lane finished uh, fifth in 2022 and third in 2023. Wyatt Ingham is uh, at 190, number one ranked senior. Placed third in 2021, fourth in 2022, and he was a state champ in 2023. And of course, Coy Hopke, uh, number one ranked senior in Wisconsin. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> he was the state champ in 2021, 2022, and 2023, all at 220 pounds. So uh, very impressive. So we wish our wrestlers the best of luck on Saturday in Madison. And next Tuesday, like I said, the boys will be hosting their first home playoff game since 2015. Cannot believe it's been nine years since we hosted the home playoff game, but it has been that long. So there's also a youth rec night open house on Thursday, February 22nd from 6.15 to 7.15 in the AHS cafeteria. Uh, learn more about... Oh, Hartwig. Two-point basket there. Um, I'll try to continue that message. This is open rec night, uh, Thursday, February 22nd. Shot no good by Thorshine. Um, learn more about the many opportunities available in the Amory area for our youth. Some opportunities are available to children as young as four years old. So super exciting. Bosley with the layup. Give him two. Seventy to forty-three is the lead for the Warriors. And we're looking for their tenth um, overall victory this season. I do not know how many wins they had last year, but they certainly didn't have ten. So, I am uh, <clears throat> much improved this year from last year. So, kudos to Coach Mackey and the rest of the coaching staff and the players for improvement. Danielson shot no good. Strike. To Thorsheim, Thorsheim for the three. All back to the rails. Daniels with the dry, or the kick actually. Uh, shot no good. That was by number 22, uh, Weiberg. Coach Mackey giving the team some instructions. Thorsheim. Danielson for two. Shot no good. Strike with rebound. Strike. Try to get to Danielson. 
Hart take? No good. Hart wig, sorry, not Hart take. <clears throat> Three thirty and counting, seventy three to forty three. Lead is thirty. Anderson in the corner. Into strike. Strike shot is good. Give him strike three in the game. Puzzle is drive. Shot no good. Warriors just looking to. He up some clock here, and Coach Mackey looking to get a few subs in. Ball out to Anderson, into Danielson. Thorsheim for three. Shot no good. He is definitely feeling the hot hand there with four threes. All in the second half. Coach Faisal calling timeout, just looking to, <clears throat> excuse me, get some subs in. Coach Mackey the same. So let's see if I can get these names correctly. I see number 11, that's Nathan Hazel. He's been in the game before. Number 24, Joseph Rumportal. Number 33, Shamari Fahi. Uh, shot by number 24, <clears throat> Rumportal, no good. Ball's fought over. Ball to go to the Warriors. Uh, number 35, Ace Grady. And number 13, Sean, Sean Zwizzler. I hope I did not overly butcher those names. So uh, always fun to get in some playing time. Ball into Warriors. And Valden Anderson in the game for the first time. Give him two points. So we have Valden Anderson. Uh, he is number 25. And we have number five. Why do I not have him? Uh, Wyatt Hansen, a freshman. Number one, Joey Burns, a freshman. Coach Mackey says, slow things down. Oh, all over to Joey Burns. Oh, and there, Joey got fouled a three-point shot. No good. So Joey's going to go... Joey Burns, not Joey Thorsheim. Wow, oh, this team, I'm impressed with Amory's team. We have Wallens and we have Joey's. That is what we have on, on the Amory basketball, boys basketball team. So Joey, trying to get in the scorebook. He does. First one is good. Second one is good. Bosley and strike in for the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Wallen brothers. Joey set to try it again. And he goes three for three, that boy, Joey. Okay, uh, Shamari, or two, oh my goodness. Try to keep up with the names here. Uh, shot no good. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, ball's fought over, jump ball, ball to stay with the rails. Shamari, two inbound for the rails. Hazel, Shamari, Hazel for two. Shot is, ooh, no good. Valden, nice rebound. Joy Burns to Sam Bosley. Coach Mackey says, slow things down. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Shot is no good by White Hansen. We are under a minute to go now. 45 seconds and counting. Drive is good. 
Shot is good by Rum Portal. Give him two. <coughs> Always fun to get the guys off the bench in the scorebook. Why Hansen for three, no good. Strike for two, no good. Rum Portal with the ball for the rails. To Shamari Fahi. I think that's how you say his last name. Uh, Fahi for three, no good. And that will be it. This game is history. So with that, the Amory Warriors win this one 80 to 45 over the Spooner Rails. Amory improves to 10, 13 overall. And Spooner drops to 5 and 17 overall. So what we'll do is we'll go over the uh, scores real quick and then we'll uh, sign off for the evening. All right, starting with the Spooner Rails. Grayson Daniels finishes his evening with seven points, three fouls. Jackson Faisal finishes with six points, two fouls. Zach Glessing finishes with no points, two fouls. Jake Hartwig finishes with four points, no fouls. Evan Potizek finishes with 13 points, two fouls. Great night for him. Uh, Joseph from Portal got in the game at the end there, two points, no fouls. Uh, Maverick Swanson finished with two points, one foul. Uh, Kane Weinberg finished with seven points, two fouls. And Nathan Hazel finished with three points, two fouls. Unofficially, <clears throat> for the Warriors, again, I apologize. I kind of made that scoring blunder uh, with Carter's scoring, so I'll have to rewatch and retally. But uh, unofficially, Carter Wallen finishes with 37 points and two fouls. Joey Burns finishes with three points, no fouls. Seth Wallen, four points, one foul. Caleb Danielson, two points, two fouls. Marcus Bossy, two points, one foul. Blake Anderson finishes with no points, one foul. Joey Thorsheim with 12 points, one foul. Uh, th 12 points, three fouls. Keaton Wong finishes with 15 points, two fouls. Val Nashton, two points, no fouls. And Sam Strike, three points, no foul. So with that, uh, we thank you those for tuning in for both Amory and Spooner. We thank uh, Zoe and the camera. We'll see you here on Thursday for when the Warriors host the Somerset Spartans. So with that, have a great evening, everyone.